the Wadden Sea, our largest nature reserve, but humans are threatening its ecology. In the past years, hundreds of seals have been investigated on the occurrence of antimicrobial resistance. In other words, bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics due to our use of antibiotics. This research is being done in Seal Center Peter Buren, where these seals are taken in for rehabilitation. I'm going to do the initial exam of the seal that just arrived. Uh, this exam is done for every seal that is admitted in the center. Um, and we check the general health status of the animal, we take blood, we listen to the lungs, check the eyes, the mouth, so on. During this exam we also take samples for different research and uh, for example uh, I will collect uh, samples for bacteriology research from this seal so I will take a rectal swab and later we can check if there are uh, bacteria that carry antimicrobial resistances uh, in this seal. Ana Rubio Garcia conducts this research as part of her PhD under the supervision of the University of Utrecht and Groningen and in collaboration with ISO in Leeuwarden. The swab that we collected from the new seal, from the uh, rectum of the new seal, we are going to uh, inoculate it in some uh, selective agar plates. So we can later collect bacteria with antibiotic resistances if they are present because only resistant bacteria will grow on these uh, selective agar plates. And they will be there 48 hours and then they will be sent to ESOR for the identification and uh, uh, antimicrobial susceptibility test. This human microbial research lab also researches the microbial cultures from Peter Buren. We support the Peter Buren uh, with a small lab on the site in, in Peter Buren and um, the, the veterinarians um, uh, make the cultures and um, analyze them uh, whether there is growth or no growth on the, on the agar plates. When there is growth they send the uh, samples to uh, our lab for uh, determination and uh, susceptibility testing. It proved that uh, most uh, bacteria in seals are the same as in humans. We, we analyze in the seals with which microorganisms they are colonized in their, um, in their rectum and, and, and in the feces. The spectrum of um, microorganisms that we find in seals are uh, pro uh, almost the same as in, in humans. The, the, the difference is that a seal constantly is in contact with water. Seals live in the Wadden Sea, where several large rivers dump their sediment. Effects of human pollution is being aggregated in the delta and its environment. Seals are colonized with our microorganisms and, um, and not in reverse. Peter Buren also cooperates with the University of Utrecht. Antimicrobial resistance in animals have their special attention. So the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine of Utrecht University has a collaboration with Peter Buren in the field of antimicrobial resistance. That means that we are working on bacteria that are resistant to antimicrobials and when they can transfer from animals to, to humans. We are uh, in particular looking for when seals are coming into the center, how many uh, resistant bacteria do they carry with them? And that's an indication for how healthy the Waddenzee is. Seal Center Peter Buren collected swabs during health assessments in the past two years. And something peculiar was being found in very young seals. In very young seals of two or three days old, we already find multi-resistant microorganisms we know from, from humans. It is, in my opinion, um, uh, impossible that such a young seal uh, produces its own re multi-resistant microorganism in such a short time, uh, time period. It must come from uh, uh, contact with, with, with water and with other animals. The other thing is that when there are animals that need a treatment, when they are in the uh, seal rehabilitation center, how, the, how resistant bacteria in this, these animals, how they develop. And that's more important when animals, when they go back to the Wadersee again, and if you disturb in that way uh, the whole ecosystem. And there is resistance always as a kind of a an, an background uh, in, the, in, the, in e any ecosystem. So it, uh, when it becomes uh, increased, when it becomes uh, when, when the bacteria, there are more in these animals, then it can be an indicator that there is, for example, pollution of the, of the sea, the environment where they are living in, and they pick it up, and finally we find it in these animals. 
these resistant bacteria in these animals can come from, uh, from people, from humans, uh, but it can also come from other animals, for example poultry or pigs or cattle, that have been treated and that finally these resistant bacteria come in the environment and the seals, they pick that up when they are swimming in the Wadisee. Humans and seals are much closer to each other than we often think. The University Medical Center Groningen also assists Peter Buren in its research. Since many decades known that uh, there are microorgan microorganisms that can be transmitted uh, from humans uh, to humans, from humans to animals, from animals to humans, and of course between animals. The microorganisms really do not know if they are uh, in the gut of uh, a human or if they are in the gut of an animal. And so um, the existing the, uh, the One Health concept that uh, says if you want to understand the mechanisms of uh, the transmission of antibiotic resistance and microorganisms that are antibiotic resistant, you need to look into humans, you need to look into animals and into the environment. And uh, this is what we are doing with this collaboration. Human microbiology does not differ that much from the microbiology in seals. On the other side, it's very complex, uh, the whole the human, animals, uh, environment, where to start. Uh, and so we decided uh, to look exactly uh, on a special animal that within the um, uh, chain uh, of, the, of the food chain uh, in the environment, in our environment, the water environment, um, is a good indicator, a good sentinel for antibiotic resistance. So the seal is an indicator for antibiotic resistance in the environment. And on the other side, the seal is also quite similar to humans because the seal uh, in uh, our country, they are um, on a certain point, they are admitted uh, to Peter Buren. It's like a uh, human baby which is admitted to a hospital. As also in humans, during the stay in the hospital, the microbiome changes. It comes to a non-natural environment where there are um, uh, uh, veterinarians, doctors need to do something, it's fed on another way. Um, maybe it is sick, it, antibiotics are given, and then it is discharged later on. Then the interesting thing is when the seals then uh, leave uh, uh, again and they go to a natural environment, they very um, uh, fastly from our first results, um, they get, they require back their natural, normal uh, microbiome as the others. And that's interesting because this is in humans not so normal. So why the seals do have that reconstitution and humans remain with the resistant microorganisms over months, maybe over years, then they come back. And we want to understand if there are um, uh, parallels uh, and if we can understand for both, for humans and for the seals, what is the optimal way in managing and treating in order to avoid the spread of antibiotic resistance. The research done in Peter Buren, in collaboration with its three partners, will continue to focus on the health of seals and humans.